Yep. So, box office out. We're in one of those fallow periods where DEG isn't updating the home media for weeks on end. It's interesting yeah. how it's just feast or famine over there. Yeah, it's yeah, it's very odd. But uh, we have a few interesting uh, pieces. By the way, you might say, oh, are you, are you responding to the Flash trailer? We've both decided that we're not particularly interested in the movie because of the actor and there being two of said actor. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, I will go if somebody invites me in real life, but nah. Yeah, yeah, I'm not interested. Uh, meanwhile, Mario, stop stealing all the money. You're making everybody feel bad. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, seriously, like, has this thing crossed a billion yet? Let's find out. Uh, I think it's very close. 909. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, when this thing drops in Japan and South Korea this weekend, and what it, the take it gets from this weekend everywhere else, that's it's already released. Mm -hmm. Just about guaranteed. Oh yeah. Uh, like we're, we're t I mean, we're talking big numbers, and it only dropped thirty five percent weekend over weekend. Yeah, that's. It's yeah, it's, yeah. <laughs> now, if you look at the numbers chart here, it kind of looks like it's. Uh, Okay, it is ridiculously outperforming, but I have to question the wavy line here, because that could part of that could be that it started on a Wednesday and the algorithm assumes things start on a Friday. Oh yeah, that makes I sense. I don't know this for certain, but it seems plausible. Yeah. Either way, it's it's killing it. Oh yeah. Nobody was expecting it to be quite so big. Yeah, I don't. I don't even think uh, Universal or Nintendo was expecting it to be this big. That might also be foreshadowing for another story. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, I, I can tell you that it seems like Comcast has made, like they made uh, significant investments in their animation divisions to get these types of results. Yeah. Uh, I mean, they also had the biggest animated movie last year, which was Minions. Right. Yeah. Uh, but what's hilarious about it is that they're kind of stealing Disney's animated crown with what, with what Wall Street seems to see as a side hustle. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, I watched their, uh, their uh, their uh, investor call on the Valiant Renegade Renegade Channel this morning. By the way, uh, disclosure: I do own Comcast stock. Oh, okay. uh, uh, but all the all the analysts only seemed interested in their broadband, cable, and uh, wireless business. <laughs> like I I, th I think there might have been one question about the parks or the movies. Wow, which is kind of ridiculous when you think about it. It just yeah. It shows that like it's it's a relatively small piece of their business when you get down to it at this point. Yeah, that's <laughs> actually no. There might have been more questions about the parks, but regardless, it was Reg like... yeah. Regardless, yeah, it, it's yeah, it's it's pretty telling when yeah, that's it's it's only part of their their business, and then with Disney, it's a huge part of their business. Yeah, well, like Disney is is probably the most consistently profitable single play entertainment only company just because they have the parks and ESPN. Right. Uh, th those things uh, forgive a lot of sins. Yeah. Well, Comcast is like that on steroids in so much as they are the cable company. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but either way, uh, still kind of shocking results. Yes. Now we had some new, uh, we had some new releases come out. Um, the Evil Dead Rise remake, which uh, I was watching something and I heard that this was apparently going to be released on uh, HBO Max originally. And then oh. Zaslav saw it and said, well, this is good enough to put in theaters. Let's do that. Yeah. Yeah. And, and uh, it's doing very well. I mean, yeah, 20, 24 and a half million. That's yeah, that's yeah. Uh, I wonder if they have a budget listed. Let's find out. They don't. They do not. I I would I would assume it's probably a very modest budget. Uh, you, I would assume so. Also, this is continuing our weird theme of the horrific April we're having <laughs> in terms <laughs> yeah. of movie released, because you know, we've got the old Dead Rise, Pope's Ren Exorcist. Bo is afraid from what I've heard kind of sounds like it's a horror movie. 
It, it just sounds really bad. <laughs> yes. Um, Nefarious. Which is a uh, faith-based movie. Oh, that's right. Yeah, it's a nefarious yeah, I... faith-based horror movie. Yeah. Um, Scream 6 is still out there. There's like an odd amount of horror movies for this, this time of year. It's like, it's, it's just... I wonder if it's partly Hollywood figuring out that these things are cheap to make and make big bank if you do them right. Right. Yeah, probably. Yeah. It's, yeah, it, but yeah, it's it's still like, you know, you, you wouldn't expect a, you know, movie like that coming out in, yeah, coming out in April. You know, it'd be, you think like October or November. Yeah, much less a huge, maybe for the summer, just like for some counter programming for box, for the blockbusters. But yeah, you know, I wonder if this means we're going to see a um, slowdown in how many horror movies we see over the summer because they threw them all at this month. But yeah, probably. Yeah, we'll see if it keeps on. That's a trend to keep an eye on. Yeah. Other new major release. We had uh, Guy Ritchie's The Covenant. Mm hmm which is uh, the story of somebody going back to Afghanistan to save an interpreter who had saved his life after the botched withdrawal from Afghanistan. Oh. Hmm. Came in with the uh, $6 million, which, depending on what they spent on it... Actually, do they have a number here? Do they have a number? No. They don't. However, uh, much like... Uh, much like how Comcast backstops uh, Universal, MGM is part of the Amazon family these days. So, right, yeah. So, uh, at the very least, they'll get a, a check cut to them to uh, put it on Prime at some point. Yeah. Um, past past ones here that are holding on. Uh, John Wick Chapter Four chugging along. Mm -hmm. uh, Dungeons and Dragons: Honor Among Thieves still in the top five. It's wow. still, yeah. It's. I mean, that that's, that that to me implies you're getting some word of mouth off of it. Yeah, yeah, they, yeah. You get some people who are like, yeah, you know, that movie's not that bad. You know, might, might yeah. want to give it a watch. I mean, I enjoyed myself. Yeah. Uh, let's see here. Meanwhile, they can't all be winners. Um, actually, one more winner. Air is performing very nicely. The Air Jordan documentary. Yeah. Yeah. It's uh, it's it's also having drops in the thirties, oh. like like Mario. Yeah. I guess that kind of makes sense because that's the option for people who don't want something fantastic, and <clears throat> just want to go to the movies anyway. Yeah. Boy, the the Pope's Exorcist, though, man. That just dropped. Yeah, sixty-two percent in its second weekend, and that's a. I don't know. I saw ads for that thing. Yeah, I did too. Yeah, so it's... they were not. Uh, they weren't. They weren't. They weren't burying it. They wanted you to go see it. Yeah, and and well, well, and from what I've heard, it's really bad. <laughs> no, that's a shame. Yeah. Uh, another big bomb. Uh, Speaking of Universal having to be backed up by something, uh, we have Renfield. Oof. Well, I guess they could take some of their Mario money and put it towards that wound. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because Renfield already opened low last weekend and it dropped sixty percent, almost sixty percent week over yeah. week. Well, I, I, I guess having a, uh, I guess having a movie with Nick Cage, Nick Cage playing Dracula isn't a, isn't a sure surefire win. <laughs> yeah, not as much as it seems like it should be. Yeah. <laughs> uh, then, then rounding out the top, we got Bo's Afraid, which uh, is ex do A24 is doing that weird thing where they start with like three theaters and then they now they've expanded it to another 965, or 961. So it'll probably be like everything everywhere all at once where it has this weird bell curve release that just never ends. Yeah. Assuming people like it. Mm hmm. Um, and then rounding out the top 10, we've got Suzume, the anime movie I saw last weekend. Yeah. Which, that's respectable to stay in the top 10 two weekends in a row. Yeah, for, for an anime, definitely. Yeah. Yeah. I wonder, um, I'm going to go ahead and play my other window here for a second. And then go 
can we still buy tickets to Suzume? Suzume. Yes, uh, you, they have a, they at least have tickets available through May 4th on Fandango. Oh, wow. So, the, yeah, this is getting a, this isn't like a weekend Fathom event special release. This is getting a proper full release. Wow. So, that's cool. Yeah. Mm. Well, well, yeah. So, I, I think that if the, if the Pope's exorcist has a long-term result, it'll probably be the realization, oh, we can't just make literally anything horror-related horror and uh, <laughs> count yeah. on earning a huge paycheck. Yeah. Yeah. Also, uh, oof, Mama Mafia, complete bomb here at this point. Oh, yeah. Three million over after two weekends. Oof. Eesh. Yeah. Although... Uh, you know, Daniel, there is somebody having a worse day right now. Oh, and who who is that? 